Warning, the following content contains elements that may not be suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. All that, cousin. In modern life, violence is unavoidable. Whether it be in TV shows, movies, video games, or social media, violence is everywhere. Entire Facebook pages, Instagram accounts, Vine accounts, and complete websites have been dedicated to the sole purpose of displaying people fighting one another. All of which contributes to the desensitization to violence of our general public. This is shown when some of these clips have been known to go viral such as the Shovel Girl video and the Scooter Throw video, both of which have earned well over 2 million views each. But in this category of clip, none is more infamous than the Sharkisha Fight video, which earned itself over 25 million views on YouTube. But do people really watch these videos for entertainment or just because they're a viral trend? To find the truth, we took a trip to Hellfellow Hills High School West to have a talk with some 10th and 11th grade students about this very video. These reactions were not exclusive to the students here at High School West. They were shared by millions of others over the internet. To find out why everyone loved the Sharkisha video, we decided to ask them some questions. Have you ever seen that video before? I have not seen that video before. Yes. No, I have not. Yeah. No. No. Yes, I have. No. Yeah. Yes, I have. No, I haven't, Chris. Uh, I've heard about it. I've never seen it, though. Yeah, it was like super popular last year, like all over Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. When you first saw it, what were your initial reactions to it? At first, I was like, what is going on? But then I, it was hilarious, so I started laughing. In shock at how crazy some of you go, I see. You know, just beating the life by someone else. Still kind of shocked, now kind of laughing at it. It was uh, a little violent. It's really shocking, really. That's terrible. <laughs> Very violent. Well, I first laughed. It was horrible. I don't want to see people beating on each other. Honestly, I started laughing. And most people shouldn't be laughing at this. Like, this girl is being, like, beat up, obviously. Well, I laughed at it, but, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's not funny, but I think it's funny. Do you think this is a violent video? That video is in indeed violent. That girl was hit really hard in the face. Yeah, of course. Like, she's being brutally beat up by some girl. A little bit, yeah. Well, yes, a lot. A lot. <laughs> it's pretty violent. That girl is like, beat her up. Yeah. Do you think this video is funny? Yeah. It's not really funny at all because this girl's getting brutally attacked. Yes. It's wrong and how like, you know, that was very violent and it's not, nothing to laugh about. That was actually not funny. No one 
no video of someone getting hurt is actually funny. I think it's very violent. It's very violent. I don't think it should be laughed at. The general consensus is that this is a violent video that isn't funny, yet causes laughter, but shouldn't be laughed at. From the reactions we recorded, we can deduce that when first exposed to the video, it causes a natural laugh response. But then, after only a little bit of consideration, we can find the true severity of the events that we just witnessed. Granted, some other aspects of the video can be dubbed to be humorous, such as the abnormality of the girl's name. People in the background saying her name, the fact that her name is Tarkisha just adds a comic effect. Tarkisha, no! Sharkisha. After the discussion about the Sharkisha video, we moved on to ask the students questions about their real lives, whether or not they believed that modern media is causing people to become more and more desensitized to violence. Have you ever been involved in a school fight? No. Nope. No. 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 Who would want to fight this? I mean... No. No, but I've seen a lot. No, but I've witnessed one. Like one time I was waiting for the after school bus and then these two girls just started beating each other up and then like a bunch of like guys came and like go 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 and then they were like egging it on. Uh, I was in a fight with a kid where uh, in the cafeteria we had a bit of an argument. He hit me, uh, I hit him back and uh, I was suspended for a couple of days. Do you think that media can influence people to be more violent or to be desensitized to it? Honestly, I really don't think it does. I don't believe it is. Probably. Yes. Yes. Well, since there's a lot of violence in media, so it gets people more accustomed to it. So when they see it in real life, they don't think it's that big of a deal because they see it all the time. Can you elaborate on some examples of this? Like in movies, there's a lot of violence in movies, TV shows. Totally. Like, the stupid websites like World Star or something like that. Like, people like, sometimes post videos online of people fighting because they think it's entertainment. Like, it's really not. All those war games with shooting and guns, it just promotes so much violence. And, um, and kids are used to that. Like, so used to it. Some kids play hours a day. I think it does because some things are violent and some things aren't. Like, TV shows and video games and movies, they're violent, but we always want to see them. Um, I think definitely. Especially now, because of our culture, violence is more prevalent in the media, in you know t television shows and movies, and people are just more um, people are just more used to violence surrounding us in our culture and society. Nearly everyone we interviewed here at High School West said that they believe that the media can cause people to be more violent. Yet while we were here, we decided to take a trip down to the guidance office to get one more opinion. That of head guidance counselor, Mr. Toll. Do you think that violence is a keystone in modern life? Yes, I do. Do you think that more recent generations are less sensitive to violence than older ones? I do think so. Do you think that modern media, such as video games, TV shows, and movies, affect people's attitudes towards violence? I absolutely do. Can you elaborate on that question? Uh, yeah, I think it desensitizes all of the things that the images that we get um, and see and feel these days are um, desensitizing people to um, the reality of the uh, impact of violence. Yet another person who believes that modern media can cause the desensitization of violence. What does science have to say on the matter though? Let's take a look at a study that is meant to show how people respond to violence in their everyday lives after being exposed to it via several types of media. In study one, participants were split into two groups. The first group played a violent video game for 20 minutes, and the second group played a non-violent video game for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes was up, each individual in each group was told to fill out a lengthy questionnaire. While filling out said questionnaire, there were audio cues that would lead the person to believe that there was a violent fight taking place in the room over, and that there was a person who was severely injured. On average, the people who played the violent video game took longer to respond to these sounds and rated the fight as being less violent than those who played the non-violent video game. In study two, moviegoers were split into three groups. Those who hadn't yet watched a movie, those who had watched a violent movie, and those who had watched a non-violent movie. These three groups were then observed as they witnessed a woman with an injured ankle struggle to pick up her crutches. 
on average, the group who had watched the violent movie was the least likely and took the longest amount of time to consider whether or not to help the woman up with her crutches. These studies both show how exposure to violence in multimedia platforms can cause people to become desensitized to violence when confronted with it in everyday life. But what impact does all this violence in the media have on the students here at High School West? Do you think that pro violence is a problem here at High School West? Absolutely not. No. Not often, but at times it could be. A little bit. I mean, like, when there are fights in school, it's usually broken up, like, so quickly. Like, literally last week, I saw a fight in the cafeteria. People were surrounding people, and they were like, Oh my gosh, world star! People taking out their phones because they thought it was funny. And it's really not. And it shouldn't be in a high school setting. People should be able to come to school and feel safe and not be afraid they're going to get into a fight with someone. I don't think it's very often happening in high school. I think majority of kids here know that violence is wrong. They're not going to do any fights and stuff. Maybe not here in High School West, but this is an issue. And we must problem solve to figure out how we can come up with a solution to it. And everything is a balance. So um, I think that be because there are so many more images and so many more opportunities to sort of practice violence, um, I think it's a teachable moment to, I, I think we have to f create things to balance things off so that people have an idea about what it is and it's not so um, disconnected from what's happening around them. This issue is one that we must solve as a society. Together, we must find the balance between proper entertainment and too much violence. We must realize that, that in our everyday lives, even though we are exposed to more and more violence, we must remember that it is not a norm and that we must refrain from letting it affect the way that we see it. Violence is not the norm.